Welcome back to another Trade Alts tutorial. This is Trading Boss bonus video number three, and we're going to get into a subject that is a bit hard for some people to discuss. It's being overextended. And maybe your Trading Bots ran out of funds. We wanted to put a video together to help you get some ideas on how to manage your Trading Bots, manage your specific scenario in these types of situations. For those of you in Discord, you all know who Ribsy is. He is an absolute legend, very important part of the Trade Alts community. And he took some time to put a great video together to help you kind of navigate through these situations. He's going to walk you through his trading bots and where they are right now, how he's managing them, being overextended. And I think that you can really get some uh, useful tips and tools to help you uh, for your specific situation as well. So if you have questions or need clarification after watching this video, head over to Discord and we're happy to help you. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, this is Ribsy from the Trade Alts team. Um, just wanted to go through uh, using free commerce um, when you're out of funds and um, you're overextended. We've just had a market dip and how would you deal with it? Um, just going to give you a few tips, that's it. So um, from the free commerce website, we navigate to my deals. When we have a sudden price drop, keep an eye on your active deals reserve. Also, keep an eye on your available balances here. Safety orders are going to fill very quickly. As you use more safety orders, your available balance will drop fast too. If you feel you're overextended and your balance is quite low, consider de-risking a few bots by stopping the bots and letting them close um, normally. If you actually run out of funds, you really need to stop all your bots. Just remember, if we stop the bots, we aren't actually closing these active deals. We're just stopping any new deals from opening. So um, we go to DCA bots. Then we make sure we select all. And also we click on that to select everything. Then you click on stop all bots. Um, if you have more than one page, you would also click on page two, select all and stop all bots. If you still have funds and you just want to get rid of um, a few of the bots that aren't really performing that well, just to reduce your uh, risk exposure, just select the ones that you don't want um, running and just stop them. So just to confirm, uh, by stopping the bots, you're not actually closing any of the active deals. They all remain the same. And uh, basically, once they close off in profit, they won't open any new deals. So WRX, for example, won't open any new deals after this is done. Um, you still keep your same settings as the um, it was in your setup. Um, if you want to edit the deal manually, you have to do it individually for each um, bot. So um, we want to start trying to free up funds. Uh, assuming um, our balance is zero or very low, um, we just want to micromanage our deals a lot better. It's always best to start at the very bottom um, and work our way up. Okay, so first thing we do is look at our deals at the bottom. Um, this has reached 30 out of 30 uh, uh, safety orders, so there's no rescuing this. I'm just going to let it run. Uh, this is quite an old deal that we've had. And that's been running a while. Just going to look at a chart. So if you can see, um, they had a promotion for IOTX. Um, in Binance and it was doing really well, you know, it was making a lot of money It went really high and then I think the promotion stopped and <laughs> it just started going downhill from there um, It's not much rescue in it really. I mean I could add more safety orders, but Currently, I'm just gonna wait it out because to add more safety orders. I need some volatility I mean it's reached the bottom, but I need some volatility to you know for me to to, to make it worth adding more funds 
so for now this one I'm just gonna leave okay so we move on to the next one um, EGLD um, that was set to, that was uh, actually max 30 safety orders um, it's completed already 26 safety orders so what I did was um, I made sure we don't go over it so you can set it to 26 or you can set it to 1 it doesn't really matter um, you know and I changed the max safety order trades to 1 it was set to 2 as default and then all you did was all I did was save the changes then we move on to the next one uh, this is a QFL bot if we look at it this is one of my big red bags um, it didn't go very well um, I'm going to have to add funds uh, to try to push the average price down uh, this is QFL with BTC so it doesn't affect uh, my uh, you know sh uh, insufficient f uh, funds that I'm having uh, but the problem is do I want to add a lot more safety orders to bring the price down because at the moment it's, it seems to have just found a floor but there's no actual movement for it to be going up there's no signs of it pushing back up so there's no point me adding more funds to push the price down here when it might just keep falling so for now I've got to either decide to close at a loss or just hold and just wait but for, I'm not adding funds until I see signs of strength okay so next one um, sadly I've got two QFL because um, I have four pots running and that's another one of this BTC so it opened it maybe at a slightly different time or maybe at the same time I've not really checked it properly but yeah it's the same same situation so that's just going to be counted as one big red bag uh, I'm not too worried about it for now I'm just going to skip it okay so the next one storage it was max 30 um, it already completed 27 so I changed uh, the max back to 27 or you can set it to 1 okay let's look at VET so basically this is one I've prepared for you uh, manually uh, we have 24 completed um, safety orders already we have two active safety orders um, in place and the max is 30 uh, we want to show you how to edit the um, the bet now so let's go to edit we're changing this from 30 to 20 to 24 or set it to 1 and change that to 1 and then click save update and click refresh uh, sometimes it takes a while for it to refresh if it doesn't refresh you have to manually uh, close off the active um, safety orders uh, what you usually do is just check here or you check your charts to make sure it's gone because uh, you don't really want to be having two active safety orders because um, basically those are uh, those active safety orders are using your reserved balance so if you're out of if you're out of funds say this was zero you want to be freeing up your reserve funds to help you have more funds to help cover and to help close off um, the, the, the ones that are more likely to close off quicker so basically you're trying to allocate your funds to the ones that are you know, going to close quicker yeah does that make sense okay so let's look at VET after five minutes one refresh is not changed at all so we actually have to manually remove um, you know the safety orders uh, the only way to do that is to go to smart trade search uh, click on buy sell from there you search for vet and then be careful uh, you want to just remove the buy limit orders these are the safety orders the sell is the take profit so we don't really want to get rid of that so just get rid of this and get rid of this so we've got rid of the two buy um, limit orders go back so the active uh, safety orders went from two to zero hey uh, you can double check that on the on the chart as well see 
safety. So it's you know everything's the same. You just haven't got the two safety orders um, pending. Yeah. So um, and all eat up some money from your reserved to your available balance. And that's what you do for a basically every single uh, bot uh, that's in um, well basically deep in the red that really have no chance of recovering that quick in this, in a um, in a uh, dip. So um, that's the strategy we do basically. Um, if you look at cake again, twenty seven twenty seven zero. I've set that to twenty five twenty five zero. So look at the look at the pattern. Yeah. So this one is another example. Instead of setting to 21, 21, I'll just set it to 10. You can set it to 1. You can basically set it to anything uh, below. Uh, again, 26, 25. It's just to pause it from um, t using up more funds than necessary. Um, obviously, you, you're, you're, you're waiting now. You're waiting for it to, to hit the, um, uh, the, the take profit. So this is what happens when you're overextended. Um, you don't have... Um, you're not dollar cost averaging down. If I was dollar cost averaging down on here properly, I would have closed here already. So you know that's what that's what that's what happens if you, if you're out of funds and you're not you're not um, you know getting enough safety. You're not actually filling those safety orders. Um, that's the main example. Okay, so let's continue. Um, GRT again done. Uh, NKN is done. Again, look at it ever. Ever placing safety order thing, um, trade insufficient funds. It's a very common error. So um, if you look at uh, NKN, yep. See, so there's no there's no actual safety orders being placed. The take profit is still there. Make sure again your take profit is active. Uh, yeah, and just literally waiting until you have funds to to top it up. Um, obviously, remember um, this is USDT. I've got lots of B. I've got lots of uh, BUSD, but I'm out of USDT. So I'm gonna have to micromanage a bit more. Maybe get some funds into USDT and start, um, you know, adding funds to try to uh, or uh, increasing safety orders once I have enough USDT to try to you know close these off. So anything that's USDT, I'm gonna be out of funds. So USDT. So this again, dent. Uh, Vites and NKN. Uh, Myth. Uh, I managed to buy up to twenty-five safety orders. Uh, so I managed to buy um, up to twenty-five safety orders, and then after that, I paused it. I stopped it from, um, you know, taking any more safety orders. But I didn't have any money anyway. So and storage. IOTX. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so we've got we've done this. We're going to Vite, and we you know again USDT. We want that money. Uh, TRX at the moment is twenty one twenty, which is fine. Um, Q term again. That's done. Waves is done. Dash is done. Uh, bake BUSD is done. Uh, then we've already covered. Uh, Alice, this is one uh, that I'm trying to close off. So um, I changed it from uh, that 2727 max to 2730. So because I think it's got a chance to close, you know. So I thought, you know, uh, get it back and running again. Yep. So it's it's got a chance. Uh, so that's why I've added. Uh, the safety orders again um, and no well, hopefully it'll close off eventually uh, same with let's see, have a look with data you've got the one I've got the one safety order uh, active and then I'm hoping for this to close I might add this I might actually change actually let me change it on the fly so I could just set it to say 25 Basically, you, what you're doing, you're micromanaging again. You know, you wanna you wanna use your funds uh, to try to close off, um, you know, your your old bags, but you also uh, I also want to be still generating money. So I've got a lot of these ones that are generating money uh, that are actually active and you know, they're, quite, they're closing quite regularly. Um, 
but I still want to close some of the red bags, so let's go back and have a look. Uh, what we do what else we got? So TLM uh, one, yep, it's no uh, H bar. Um, that was close. That was close to closing. Um, it went to about no. Uh, it actually went into positive, but I went to go for, you know let it go the the full way and take the full profit because you know I've been waiting for so long. I might as well you know let it you know, run and um, hopefully hit the the take profit and actually come up with a decent profit for all that waiting. Uh, so if you know you can see plus two in the brackets, this means I've added funds manually. So I was testing the add funds, and I was actually manually adding it using the spreadsheet. But to be honest, I actually found it easier just to edit. You know, it's just a lazy way, and just increases the max uh, max safety orders, uh, the the max safety trade count. Uh, that's that was my strategy that I was using. You know, because it's just ease really. Um, okay, so QFL aggressive. Um, again, you know, um, I was doing this to close off a few of my QFLs. Um, with that dip, usually QFL works really well. I mean, apart from picking up the, that SIS uh, BTC, it's actually closed off you no know, 90% of my um, actual trades, apart from the dip. So that dip caused quite a big dip, and um, no, it's, it's that's on the 19th is when it picked it up. And I'm still waiting, but I've increased the actual max from three to fifteen, and this has helped close off a lot of my um, QFL uh, bots. Um, you know, uh, so that's just, this is why you know I stress how um, high risk uh, QFL is, and you know the strategy. You know, you need to have some funds ready to add funds manually. So I, I never use my full uh, BTC balance for QFL. Back to uh, the net, back to the deals. Okay, so dot, yep. Yeah, so dot XRP. All this onwards are actual bots that I'm running um, actively. Um, I actually, you know, run this about uh, uh, two days ago, one or two days ago. Uh, so these are actually enabled, and I'm trying to collect money. Um, you know, just trying to get back into the game. Um, and I've been away for a few weeks since the dip. Uh, just basically waiting it out, hoping for um, you know the actual uh, deals to close by itself. But it was quite it's quite hard work um, without you know manually adding more funds. Okay, so after that, you just have to wait patiently, um, you know. And once you start having more funds, you start looking at each of your uh, bots and um, you know start deciding which ones you want to focus on to add more funds or to increase your safety orders and uh, when everything's cleared or most of it's cleared and your funds are quite healthy then you can start adding your bots again and you know learn from the lesson of being overextended i wish you all the best and take care thanks